Hello everyone, welcome to my video. As the title indicates, this is going to be a WordPress for Beginners video. So let's go ahead and begin. So I know there are plenty of videos out there regarding WordPress. And um, this one I hope will be a little bit different and a little bit easier, especially for all you beginners who are considering using WordPress to build your website. So the first thing that I'd like to go over today is what is a content management system or a CMS? Now, bear with me because this is relevant to uh, WordPress. So a CMS, and uh, that's a C as in Charlie, M as in Michael, and as S as in Sam. CMS. So what that is, is that a, that's an acronym for Content Management System. And the reason why that's so important, important is because it's a software application that enables users to create, modify, publish uh, digital content and websites. That's where WordPress comes in. WordPress is a content management system. You can use it to create a website. You can use it to create a, a e-commerce site, your own uh, online store, whatever you want. All that in one package. <clears throat> and I say one package because you can use um, WordPress if you want to. Um, if you want to have users sign on to your site, you can use WordPress. WordPress will store all of your data for your usernames, your passwords, your um, user accounts, and all of their settings, all in, in on your site, on your WordPress site. So it's a very easy way of using a system online without having to know anything about coding or being a programmer. Um, in my humble opinion, WordPress is one of the easiest uh, online content management systems to use. Um, there are others uh, to mention but a few. Uh, there's Drupal, there's Joomla, and there's uh, one called Magento. Um, there are countless others, but those are, those are a few, to name a few. And so with WordPress, I think that it's the easiest to use, okay? Um, Word, WordPress requires three things in order for it to work good. Um, it needs a web server, it needs a database to store all of the information into, um, and it needs an operating system. That's uh, the master software like either Windows, Mac, or Linux. Um, and that operating system holds all of the uh, all of the packages that you'll need for WordPress, right? Okay. And so, all of that can be acquired and and um, used when you sign up for a hosting company. When when you sign up for a hosting company, then you can install WordPress, and then from there you can go ahead and build and create your word your website um, I'll go over <clears throat> I'll go over later how to uh, get a free WordPress website that you can practice with okay so moving on once you get all your information and you signed up and you've installed WordPress you'll um, your hosting company will give you the instructions for how to get to your WordPress site. You'll have a username and password that you built when you installed WordPress. And so you just put in your username and your password and click on login and you'll go to the dashboard of your website. And that's right here. Okay. This is your dashboard to your website, to your WordPress website, all right? Some people may call this the back end, the admin dashboard. Either or is still the same thing, all right? And
and as you can see as of this um, as of this video my current WordPress version is 6.4.2 okay yours may be higher or lower depending on what you want and at the t what time you are at when you view this video so starting over on the far left we'll start from the top and we'll go through most of these uh, features right so this is a WordPress t uh, test site that I created okay and starting at the top if you want to go to the front end of your what your WordPress website that's a place where all of the other users on the internet can see this will store your um, your 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 actual site you go up to the top here you'll see your WordPress um, website name right here and then you can go to visit site now what I normally do is I right click and then I choose open in another tab right this is your default WordPress uh, website this is what everybody else will see when they come to your site okay and it's not always going to be the same yours may be different okay but this is my default website before anything else I haven't I haven't installed anything on this at all and, and just so you know this is um, this is your default website right okay so let's go back to our dashboard okay and then from here we're already in in the home area well or we can click on home yeah see we're already in the home area all right so let me go ahead and explain this this will be very easy for for all you beginners out there basically WordPress is made up of two distinct things right if you look over here on the left they're made up of posts and they're made up of pages that's it basically pages and posts posts and pages right alright and so what you want to do is if you want to create like a blog you come over here to posts and then as you can see a menu extends out and you can click on all posts right and this is where all of your posts will be and a post is um, a website that you can use when you want to add on uh, different things like a blog when you want to add on uh, say if you're doing a blog on 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 fashion well you might you a blog is actually a online article right so if you want to be doing different blogs on a regular basis you'll want to come here and put them in post now for us here since this is a brand new uh, installation of WordPress we got a default uh, post right here and you want to view it you just come down here and like I say I always left click on open link in a new tab and as you can see this is where your post pages are right here already made all you have to do is just add in your content or change the content if that's what you so desire right okay we're gonna go ahead and close that we're gonna go back to our dashboard alright and then the next thing you'll see down here is you'll see your media your media library now this is where you can um, this is where you'll have you'll find your um, your images right so you just come over here left click on library and as we said I don't have anything in here because this is a brand new um, uh, installation of WordPress but um, as we go on we will go ahead and talk about um, what images we're going to put in here and what images are installed in here as we go further on and also on the left we can go here we'll go to pages and as you can see you left click on here and this is where your pages are if you got any static content that, that, that won't ever change then you'll come here and use your uh, use this section to create it 
normally this is where you'd want to create like your home page your home page your contact page things like that things that won't ever change if you want to create stuff that changes like articles or blogs on a, a daily a weekly or on a regular basis that's when you create posts but if you want to create static pages pages that always say the same you want to come down here to pages and what we did was we left clicked on on the sample page so that we can look at it in a different tab and this is our sample page right this has our this this has some sample content all right and so then we just close this and we go back to our dashboard and then we had several other things that are self-explanatory right now we're coming down um, almost to the meat and potatoes of WordPress all right we have appearance right appearance is where WordPress stores its themes and then you just go on themes you left click on it and this is a list of WordPress default themes these will be the themes that you see when you f do a fresh install of WordPress right so the you'll have like two th um, you'll have 2024 that's the name of this theme then you'll have 2023 that's the name of this theme and then you'll have 2022 that's the name of this thing right so a theme is the front end of your website okay it's where all your pictures are it's where all of your content is and this thing right here which is currently active you'll, you'll see that as opposed to these other two that are not active this one right here this is the thing that is currently showing up on WordPress website on our on my WordPress website and we've already been there before let's see oh we still have it so this is the this is thing 2024 right and that's all the theme is it's just the front facing end of your WordPress website it's what everybody sees when they come to your website that's all the theme is now you can choose different themes we will go over that later alright but that's just so you know that's what a theme is so if we go back to our dashboard the next thing that we want to be interested in is our plugins alright you go down here to the plugins you'll see this menu here and you'll see some d plugins that are installed by default you don't have to use these plugins but these are what are installed with a fresh install of um, of WordPress alright and then of course we got users which should be self-explanatory these are all the users that are currently on currently we only have one and that's my username that's for me of course you can go ahead and add more users as you go along alright then we have tools we got all sorts of things in there if you want to look at it then we have settings right and then you can either collapse the menu or you can extend the menu okay so the first thing that we probably want to start with let's see um, we want to go over plugins and then themes right okay um, however what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stop the video here because this video is getting too long um, but to give you one last thing before I go um, if you are interested in getting a free WordPress website you, I will provide a link in in the uh, description of this video and then you can just go to that link and you can go ahead and look at all the options it's it's my website it's a hosting company that I created you can go ahead and look at that link and choose amongst the uh, free websites that you'd like to uh, have and acquire uh, it costs no money is is free depending on which one which uh, package you choose from six months to one year you can go ahead and use it they um, you just need to contact me but uh, there's there's no 
There's no hidden fees. There's no contract, no nothing. You use it for six months to a year. And then if you decide that you do not want to continue further, you can just go ahead and um, discontinue using the website. So thank you very much. Um, I appreciate you guys looking at this video. Please like and subscribe and then wait for the next video which will be coming up soon and from that video we'll go ahead and continue talking about themes and plugins. Thank you very much. You guys have a good rest of your day or night. Bye-bye.